local teenager is not letting his disability slow him down. He's created a thriving business and is giving back to a personal cause. Levin is back with his story, Lev. Kate and Liam, among all the big events that happened in the month of October, it is also Dyslexia Awareness Month. Max Ash is living with dyslexia, and he's no stranger to WBZ. We first heard about Max and his startup mug business when he was 11. Well, now it's a little bit more than that. This has been great. So we first got to know Max Ash six years ago. He was a young kid with dyslexia, and he was just starting his mug business. Well, now Max and Max Creations are thriving. Um, did you think it was going to get as big as it got? I did not. I mean, I thought we were going to sell maybe like a couple hundred. Mm -hmm. Like I was going to, I was going to make them myself, sell them to like friends and family. So he's done more than that. Let's run down the list. Max Creations is a featured small business on Amazon with over 170,000 units sold and over a million dollars in sales this past year. Max has not let dyslexia slow him down one bit. I think it shows people that even though we, we have dyslexia or learning disability, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't take you down a bad path. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually use it to your advantage. And Max keeps going. He's given over $70,000 to dyslexia-related charities. It's been cool because um, given different speeches, yeah. uh, different organizations, um, I've donated 5%. Um, so seeing where that money goes and seeing how it impacts others. He's also offered mentorship to other young entrepreneurs. I think I can use my experience to kind of show them how things can run smoothly and how things can not run smoothly. And if you're wondering about his future, colleges are looking at Max because he's a great golfer. I don't know how he became a great golfer. I just, he's doing a lot of things here. <laughs> you know, what are we doing? Now this weekend, Max is the honorary kid chairman of the Wayland Weston Children's Business Fair. I'm sure he will have some solid advice for any young business mind that's looking to get their ideas up and running. And Lehman Kate, Max said one of the best things about the whole project and success is that his business turned into a family business and he's able to share all of this with his family. So good for them. I love when they do that, but then they actually give back to the thing yes. that they really are caring about, not just making the money and yeah. being successful themselves. And to overcome all these obstacles and then to give back, it's just, uh, we love that story. Thank you, Love. All right, Love, thanks.